Hey guys, uh, Zadek Kensabedion here. Today I wanted to talk about Cornell Powell. I think he's a really great receiver. I think he's very physical. Had a good year at Clemson University. Nothing super outstanding. I know a lot of the metrics guys say, you know, correlation to breakout year, this and that. But I like what I saw. I think he's a good fit for what the Chiefs need. They've been looking for somebody like him. He's a day three pick by the Chiefs from the draft last week. Uh, ever since Sammy Watkins left, they lacked that physical element of their game. They got Denard Robinson and Nicole Hartman. It's been two years of Nicole Hartman doing the same thing on that team. And it's Denard Robinson is just a role player that they use in, you know, in four wide sets. So Cornell Powell has a real chance to carve out a role as the wide receiver two on the Kansas City Chiefs. He goes from playing with Trevor Lawrence, one of the best prospects, the best prospect of the year last year in 2020 in, in college to the best NFL quarterback this year in the, it, it, for, I mean, for God knows how long in the NFL. So I think he's a great receiver. He needs to clean up a few things. We're going to talk about, and we're going to talk about one of the, one of those things today, which is his whip route. So let's get to it. We'll just run it through first and then I'll show you guys what he needs to work on. All right. All right. Right. DB gets in front, breaks it up. All right, so basically what you want to do on a whip route traditionally is this, right? Let me show you guys real quick. Let's get out the old drawing pad. All right, so on a whip route, you want to you want to shoot a hard angle in this way, right? You want to keep – you want to run so hard that you're going to convince yourself that you're running an in route, right? And at – after I think about three steps, you want to stop, pivot, turn around, get your back shoulder around, and start digging towards the sideline, right? So you're going to go this way. Um, what he does is instead he takes this kind of like curvy, kind of like lazy thing where he stops and he doesn't even plant his foot facing the sideline. He kind of just – he kind of just – kind of plants his foot over here his, his left foot over here then he turns back into the db allowing the db to get his hands on powell right and then the db gets in front and breaks up the pass so let's look at it all let's let's watch it all all right so yeah and there he just stops he he turns before he he drops his hips right he drops <laughs> he just smashes back into the db I don't know what kind of route that is. I don't like it. It's kind of sloppy. It's, it's a little lazy. He needs to work on that kind of stuff before establishing himself as a, like a top receiver. you got to master these things. Jalen Waddle has this route mastered. Jalen Waddle runs really, really well. So, look, yeah, he's sticking his he's sticking his left foot in before he even drops his hips and makes the break, right? You want that knee and that foot to be pointing that way. You want a hard sell. Then he turns around. And runs right into the DB. Not the way to do it. Not the way to do it. So that's his whip route. Hopefully we see some improvement in preseason. Just another thing to watch with Cornell Powell for all you fantasy football, uh, what's it called, owners out there in Dynasty. All right, thanks.